anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about measures of central tendency, median of group data. Measures of central tendency, it refers to a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. The measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. Last time, we discussed the mean of group data. Right now, we will discuss the median of group data. What is median? Median, the middle value of a set of data when all values are arranged in either ascending order or descending order. So what could be the formula for the median of group data? Median, it is equal to LB. LB stands for the lower class boundaries plus the quantity N. N, that is the total frequency, all over 2 minus the CF sub L, that is less than the cumulative frequency before the median class, all over F sub M. F sub M refers to the frequency of the median class. In example number one, let us solve the table shown below is the English 10 scores of students. Let us calculate the value of the median. So the English score from 1 to 10 score, we have 15 students. From 11 to 20, we have 12 students. From 21 to 30 scores, we have 18 students. From 31 to 40, we have 14 students. And 41 to 50, 11 students. Let us identify the interval from 1 to 10. So if we count, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the interval, that is equal to 10. Or if you want, you can subtract 40 minus 30, the answer is equal to 10. 50 minus 40, the answer also is equal to 10. How about the total frequency? So let us add this frequency. So 15 plus 12 plus 18 plus 14, plus 11, the answer for the total frequency n is equal to 70. So let us compute now the lower class boundaries. So these are the lower limit, 1, 11, 21, 31, and 41. So the lower class boundaries, that is 1 minus 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5, 11 minus 0 0.5, that is 10.5. 21 minus 0 0.5 is 20.5. 31 minus 0 0.5, that is 30.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 40.5. How about the less than the cumulative frequency? So we will start in the lowest class interval. So that is 1 to 10. So the frequency is 15. So copy 15. So let us add 15 plus 12, that is equal to 27, 27 plus 18, the answer is equal to 45, 45 plus 14, that is equal to um, 59, 59 plus 11, the answer is equal to 70. So the total frequency is, is 70. Let us calculate now the median class. The formula, median class is equal to n over 2. The value for n is 70. So 70 divided by 2, that is equal to 35. So 35 is between 27 to 45. So it means we will choose the highest, that is 45. So the median class, which is the interval from 21 to 30. So let us solve now for the median. Median is equal to LB plus the quantity N over 2 minus CF sub L all over F sub M times interval. So the lower class boundaries, the lower boundaries, that is the 
within the median class. So that is equal to 20.5. So let us copy. Plus the quantity, the value of n, that is equal to 70. So 70 divided by 2. Minus the less than the cumulative frequency before the median class. So that is equal to 27. So minus 27 all over the frequency of the median class. That is equal to 18. So over 18. Times the interval that is equal to 10. So let us first solve the 70 divided by 2. And then the rest we need to copy. Copy 20.5. Copy the denominator 18. Copy 10. And then copy negative 27. 70 divided by 2. That is equal to 35. Next we need to subtract 35 minus 27. And then the rest copy. Copy 20.5. Copy the denominator 18 and then copy 10. 35 minus 27, the answer is equal to 8. Afterwards, let us multiply 8 times 10. So 8 times 10, that is equal to 80. Copy 20.5 plus 80 over 18. So the median is equal to 20.5 plus 80 divided by 18. That is equal to 4.44. So let us add. 20 plus 4, so 20.5 plus 4.44, the answer is 24.94. So the median is equal to 24.94 is between the interval 21 to 30. In example number 2, the table shown below are the weight of grade 7 students. Calculate the value of the median. The weight that is 100 to 109, we have 7 students. From 110 to 119, 12 students. 120 to 129, we have 15 students. 130 to 139, we have 14 students. 140 to 149, we have 14 students. 150 to 159, we have 8 students. Let us identify the interval. So the interval, that is equal to 10. So 159 minus 149, the interval is equal to 10. Or if you want to count, from 140 to 149, the interval is equal to 10. How about the total frequency? So let us add 7 plus 12 plus 15 plus 14 plus 14 plus 8. The answer for the total frequency, that is equal to 70. So n is equal to 70. Let us compute now for the lower class boundaries. Let us identify first the lower limit. So the lower limit is 100, this one is 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. Based on the lower limit, we need to subtract it with 0 0.5. So 100 minus 0 0.5, that is 99.5. 110 minus 0 0.5, that is 109.5. 120 minus 0 0.5, that is 119.5. 130 minus 0 0.5, that is 129.5. 140 minus 0 0.5, that is 139.5. 150 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 149.5. Let us identify now the less than the cumulative frequency. We will start in the lowest class interval. So copy the frequency, that is 7. Next, we need to add 7 plus 12, that is equal to 19. 19 plus 15, that is equal to 34. 34 plus 14, the answer is equal to 48. 48 plus 14, that is equal to 62. So 62 plus 8, the answer is equal to 7C. So as you can see, the total frequency, that is equal to 70. Same with the frequency here. Let us calculate now the median class. The formula, median class is equal to n over 2. The value for n is 70, so 70 divided by 2. 70 divided by 2, that is equal to 35. So it means the median class is between 34 to 48. So we will choose 48, that could be the median class.
Let us compute now the median, the formula LB plus the quantity N over 2 minus the CF sub L all over F sub M times the interval. If this is the median class, we will choose the lower class boundaries of the median class. So that is equal to 129.5 plus the total frequency that is 70 divided by 2. If this is the less than the cumulative frequency of the median class, we will choose before the median class that is 34. So minus 34 all over the frequency of the median class. So this is the frequency of the median class. So the answer is 40. And then the interval that is equal to 10. So let us continue to solve first 70 divided by 2. And then copy 129.5 plus 35 minus, copy 34, copy the denominator 14 times 10. 35 minus 34, that is 1. So 129.5 plus 1 over 14 times 10. And then 1 times 10 is 10. So 129.5, 1 times 10 is 10 over 14. So the median is equal to 129.5 and then 10 divided by 14, that is 0 0.71. So let us add 129.5 plus 0 0.71, that is equal to 130.21. So the median is 130.21. It is between the interval 130 to 139. Let us recap what you have learned about the measures of central tendency median of group T. It is important that we have the frequency distribution table for the median of group data. How to find the median of group data? First, we have frequency distribution table. Second, the median formula. In a frequency distribution table, first, the class interval. Next is the frequency. After the frequency, the lower class boundaries, and then the less than the cumulative frequency. What could be the median formula for the group data? Median, it is equal to LB plus the quantity N over 2 minus the CF sub L all over F sub M times the interval. Instruction, complete the table and find the median of group data. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.